Hey, what's going on everyone? How you guys doing today? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be playing with a weapon I've been obsessed with lately, like the last couple of weeks. I've been racking so many kills on this weapon. And I recently got a new role that I think is the perfect one and I wanted to show it to you guys. So is this heliocentric QSC? So I'm sure you guys have seen this item quite a lot. You know, it's it's a little bit all over the place, <laughs> but it's for a good reason. It's got so many good things going for it that I kind of want to show you mine and, you know, the reasons why I really like this role. So, first of all, it's a lightweight frame sidearm, meaning that you have that faster movement speed with the weapon and it also has some pretty good handling. Now, when it comes to the trade perks, we have Precision Instrument and Heal Clip. First of all, Heal Clip got a big buff recently. It is amazing. It's quickly becoming one of my favorite perks, especially on weapons or on builds that are aggressive. Uh, they need to get back in there. Uh, heal clip is great for that. Being able to heal a huge amount of health after getting each kill is just fantastic. Heal clip has saved me so many times that I can't even count them. Uh, it's super useful in trials, super useful in sensory sets. Heal clip is fantastic. It's just a fantastic perk. Now I can't stop recommending heal clip. For things like this now the second one is precision instrument and the reason why i like precision instrument and it was actually the perk that i was looking for for a long time it's because it makes reaching the optimal ttk with the sidearm just so much easier just with like one or two stacks of precision instrument you already only need to hit like three headshots instead of five because if you don't have precision instrument you gotta hit five but with precision instrument and at least two stacks, which remember, um, even body shots, proc precision instrument. So it's very easy to get to like two or three stacks. And with that, you only need like three headshots, two bodies, and you will kill someone. It makes this weapon very forgiving. And basically you're always reaching the optimal TTK pretty much every time. So it makes this thing super deadly. Another thing that I really like about precision instrument is that it doesn't require a kill. It is just a perk that's always on as long as you're doing damage. So it's pretty much on every gunfight. The only thing that I don't really love about this role is our magazine choices. We have extended or alloy, which are just fine, but I wish that we had something different. But for right now, we're running alloy magazine. But yeah, this is the heliocentric that I always wanted ever since we started playing a lot more with sidearms. So let's get in there. Let's play with it, and let's see what this baby can do. All right, here we go. We loaded up into the Iron Banner, and we're going to see how this goes. And first map, Javelin 4. That never happens. So, <laughs> you know, hopefully we'll have a nice time here. Oh, this guy fell for the, fell for the smoke. There's a bunch of them there, but they're all too far away. So we'll deal with this guy first. Get that heal, although I think we had a bunch of health. <laughs> okay. I think this is uh, pretty safe to go and pick up all of these. Oh, okay, maybe not as safe as I thought. Let's get that heal again. Bro, I'm telling you, that heal is just ridiculous. There's a bunch of... There's so many of these crests over here. I have to deal with that guy, and then hopefully we'll be able to... Actually... Not sure if we'll be. Huh? I mean, we killed him. Plus one. We'll get him. Get the second guy. Actually, I don't think we got that kill, but. Oh, we got him low. We, we helped the guy that got him. <laughs> Is he gonna turn this corner? Yeah, he was right there. Boom, just like that. You see that final shot that hit 64? That is craziness. I can't find anybody though. I think maybe uh, the teammates were going a little too hard. Bro, this thing is just just ridiculous. By the way, um, what is your favorite sidearm to use? I know you know we've seen a lot more sidearm usage uh, lately because of the special changes. Even though Bungie has made some changes, so you can use your special weapon a lot more, and so you can get more meter, but even then, you know, people are still gravitating towards, uh, 
the special weapons, not the special weapons, the sidearms, <laughs> because you don't have to deal with that whole system, you know, you just always have something that's really good up close, um, which is the reason why I use sidearms when I use something like a, oh my god, that bouncing hit me, like the forerunner. So, what is the sidearm you guys have been using most? I've seen uh, a couple of the exotic sidearms. The exotic sidearms are really good. The heliocentric, of course, because you know it's 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 the goat. Um, and besides that, oh, this guy rushed me with like no help. Oh, we can get him. We got that, so we can challenge him too. Oh my God, this thing is just insane. Ah, the Trespasser is one that I'm very, very interested in. Because I've seen a lot of people use the Trespasser. I haven't really used Trespasser a lot myself. But I know that thing can put in work with the exotic perk. Oh, wait, what? Oh, they froze him. Get this guy. Oh! Oh, we got a bit of a heal. And then that guy saved me. Thank you, buddy. Oh, my God. I owe my life to that guy. I will forever be in your debt, Blueberry. Uh, I guess we'll pop we'll super. Let's uh, heal a little bit. I thought I was just about to miss that. <laughs> that super whiffs so much when you when you needed to hit. Can get this. Let's get the heal. Grab these again. I guess we'll dunk them again, you know? Might as well. Bro, we have like 30 rounds on our <laughs> full runner, which is crazy. And you know, since I asked you about like, the side arms you guys have been using, I'm sure someone already commented full runner. If you commented full runner, you know who you are. If you know who I'm talking to, you know who you are. Man, I, I like that the sidearms are good and, like, uh, deadly, but also makes me a little sad because I'm, I'm a big fan of the last word, you know? And the better the sidearms are, the less uh, play the last word gets, essentially. <laughs> this is much easier to reach that optimal TPK with the, with the sidearms than with the last word. Although the last word is getting that... Uh, that's more buff, so you're able to like beat up everyone. Any resilience. I didn't even see that guy there. I'm guessing he was just uh, crouching around the corner. Yeah. Just gonna shoot this guy. There's a bunch of them around here. Oh. What was that? Oh my god, that one hurt. Oh, it looks like they're outside now. Alright, I should reload first. I don't even have enough ammo to kill somebody. Well, there's a guy over there. It's a little hard shooting them when, uh, when there's a teammate in the way, but... We got him. <laughs> don't you worry, buddy. I'll help. Ah, we did quite a bit of damage onto him. Oh, there's another guy with a sidearm. This guy's probably gonna push me. No, he didn't. Oh, we ran out. We needed one shot. Oh. That's what happens when you lose. When you lose track of your ammo. Oh no. Oh no. No way. Come on, come on, give us the heal. Oh, we didn't get that kill. I thought we were about to get the heal because of the kill, but got nothing. Okay, maybe, maybe peeking the guy with the with the cracked out necro ain't the play. What is this blessed rotation? How do you manage to get jab four in three games? This never happens.
Where is this guy? See he right here? He's around here. Yep, he's right there. That one kind of pushed my range a little too far, but it's okay. We made it. <laughs> okay, I think they. I think the spawn flipped. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a lot of people over there. Definitely, yeah, they flipped. Um, they're a little too far for me though. So let's go over here, back to this place. Oh, those are just the turrets, okay. Are they pushing? There's one. They're all so far away though. I mean, this is why I have the Forerunner, but this is this isn't exactly a Forerunner video. <laughs> Hey, if I have to use the forerunner, I'll use it. The hunt is over. Oh, they're going around. There's so many of them. Again. Oh, he's got a shotgun. He, he really wanted to get me. Comes another one. I'm gonna be full health. Now we got an overshield. Oh, that's what makes it so good. If you guys haven't played with like kill clip weapons, uh, not with kill clip, with heal clip weapons and void, <laughs> getting back to full health and an overshield, it's ridiculous. Uh, I got a build that I made with the. Uh... Oh, I didn't see that guy there. No, but I got a build that I made with the uh, with the summoner. Yeah, yeah, summoner plus some heal clip plus void and a worm husk, and you you end up coming out of fights with more health and an overshield. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, he jumped over the ice. So with that, we gotta wrap up the video with the heliocentric. Is amazing. If you guys haven't tried one with Precision Instrument, definitely save the next one you get and try it out. Uh, I don't think you'll be able to go back to not having Precision Instrument on this sidearm after you try it. It is just so good and it makes reaching the optimal TDK just a breeze. But yeah, uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you all for watching and stopping by today by the channel. Leave a comment down below, helps the channel out. Leave a like, all that stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.